Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a highly requested and long overdue tutorial on how to get the perfect C parts. At our shop we call them C parts, but you may also hear others call them free parts, scallops, seashells, scales, or even mermaid parts. Either way, this is my favorite parting style and it's actually much easier and faster than you may think. I prefer these because I like a more natural look with most of my braids and locks. And I also recommend these to clients with finer textures to cover up any thin areas or sparse hairlines. It took a while for me to record this because I wanted the best of the best on this one for y'all to really show you how it's done. My braider today is Meg. She's been with us for a couple of years now and absolutely killing the game y'all of course that's me in the chair and she's doing C parts to prep my hair for my goddess lock install so braid schoolers this is going to be a follow along video so make sure you take out your notes so you can come back and reference this at a later time so with C parts we like to start on either corner of the nape in the back or each corner of the ear and work in a diagonal pattern towards the center of the head much like a brick lay of boxes, the goal is to make sure each braid falls in between the two braids below. This is to fill in any gaps and help the braids lay flatter. You can see here she started with the right corner of the nape and created a C shape about the size of a quarter. The first one is always the most important because it's going to set the tone for the rest of the parts. For the second one above, she made sure that the bottom of the C touched the center of the bottom C. Then you will see she's gonna continue the pattern going upwards and doing her best to match the size of the ones below. The size that we're doing today is what we consider medium. You see where she uses the bottom braid as a reference. She's starting the comb at the top of the middle of that C and then curving it over to the top of the other braid underneath it to the top of that C. To perfect her parts, she's using a precision parting comb and the product she is using to smooth her parts is actually a new product that we have been testing for a while now. Y'all know Shine and Jam was our go-to, but in my opinion, they kind of been tripping lately, not only with the price inflation, but I honestly think the formula has changed. So I've been working really hard to develop a product that gets the job done, but is safe for natural hair and sensitive skin. So stay tuned, we will be dropping the deets on this and where you can get it very, very soon. Also, the band she is using to hold the product in is the Swoop Band, which you can pick up on Amazon. I will link everything in the description box below. So once she has done the bottom right side, she's going to basically mirror the same thing on the left side continuing to work her way up in a diagonal towards the center of the head. For those of you taking notes, go ahead and screenshot this so that you can reference it later. Here's a look at how to start your C's from the front. Again, the first one is the most important because the size and the shape is going to be your guide for the rest of the ones you create above it. If you get hung up with the edges, use this rule of thumb. Pretend the second half of the C is just not there and then continue that line to the top of the connecting C.
Now that she's worked her perimeter, she's going to close in the middle. At this point, it really is just a freestyle because eventually the C's all have to connect. If you're struggling with the sizing, when in doubt, always go smaller. Simply because the perimeter and the top of the head is what most people are going to see the most. In addition, going smaller will always give some added fullness at the top of the head. Also remember to still part in the way the hair falls between each braid below it. I'm going to let this play out so you can see exactly how she essentially closes everything up nicely. And there you have it, perfect C parts. Funny enough, while I was recording this part of the video, I realized this style was actually kinda hidden. So while I was waiting on the lock specialist to get started, I played around with different looks and it was definitely a vibe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Anywho, as always, if you learned something, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and tell a friend. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.